Throughout the last half century or so, various events have been recorded in history as nuclear disasters. Every time one of these events occurs, the public support for nuclear science sways. The events listed here have had the most impact on how the public views nuclear science. The results show that the overall awareness of nuclear safety in the eyes of the public has generally been improving and that, for now, support for nuclear energy is still strong, even after the recent events in Japan. The first major nuclear catastrophe was the Cuban Missile Crisis. In 1962, the Soviets armed Cuba with nuclear warheads. With the threat of nuclear annihilation on our doorstep, the fears of the American public over what the future might hold increased. Only through the steadfast determination and resolve of world leaders did the Cuban Missile Crisis get resolved without a major nuclear incident. Good evening, my fellow citizens. This government, as promised, has maintained the closest surveillance of the Soviet military buildup on the island of Cuba. Before the Cuban Missile Crisis, nuclear power and nuclear weapons were not synonymous in the eyes of the American public. Qualitative data on public opinion shows that after the Cuban Missile Crisis, support for nuclear energy and nuclear technology waned. This is likely due to the fears of a nuclear war between the American nation and the USSR. The Three Mile Island accident was one of the worst nuclear power accidents in U.S. history. It took place due to a partial nuclear meltdown in March of 1979 and led to the release of small amounts of radioactive gases and radioactive iodine into the atmosphere. Despite not leading to significant damage in its vicinity, the Three Mile Island incident had a significant negative effect on public perception of nuclear power. Numerous anti-nuclear groups warning of such events were able to gain credibility from the accident, and many members of the American public staged anti-nuclear demonstrations due to fears of radioactive gases. As can, as can be seen from the graph here, there was a 16% decline in public acceptance of nuclear power plants after the Three Mile Island incident, so it was a significant detriment to the public appeal of nuclear energy within the United States. The next major event that impacted the public's perception on nuclear power occurred on April 26, 1986, at a power plant in the former Soviet Union. Operator air and instrumentation malfunction led to a complete meltdown of reactor number four. The resulting explosions and fire sent a plume of radioactive fallout into the atmosphere and over an extensive geographical area. The plume drifted over large parts of western Soviet Union and Europe, resulting in the evacuation of 350,000 people from the most severely contaminated areas of Belarus, Russia, and the Ukraine. The accident raised concerns about the safety of the Soviet nuclear power industry as well as nuclear power in general. After a rebound in the polls following the Three Mile Island incident, support for nuclear power had already begun to decline with falling oil prices. After the Chernobyl accident, Polls showed a 15% drop in the support for domestic use of nuclear power in the United States to an all-time low of 18%. The next and most recent nuclear disaster is the meltdown of three reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant in Japan. On March 11, 2011, a magnitude 9 earthquake occurred off the coast of Japan, damaging reactors 1, 2, and 3 at the power plant causing them to overheat and eventually fully melt down. The event is estimated to have ejected 10% as much nuclear material as the Chernobyl disaster. The event resonated throughout the public, with many people comparing the event to Chernobyl. Prior to the Fukushima disaster, nuclear power approval had been steadily rising, with a drop in 2001 due to the terrorist attacks on September 11th. After the event, nuclear power approval dropped 13% from 57% to 44%. However, the drop is less than those caused by both the Chernobyl and Three Mile Island disasters. For whatever reason, be it education, environmental awareness, or the lack of fear over nuclear war, the U.S. public seems to have grown more resistant to dropping their support for nuclear power after a disaster. And if the past is any indication, public support for nuclear power will recover in time and will probably even grow if fossil fuel prices continue to rise.